All right, you may or may not be doing this. You might be all in and just crushing it and, and living your dream. But then again, you might be doing what you think you need to be doing, but you just might not be feeling fulfilled. Do you feel like you are living up to your full potential? Are you giving it your all? Are you going through, going for every single thing that you've ever wanted in life today? Well, first, welcome back to another video, my winning friend. My name is Zach. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything because we are bringing the fire. And today, I'm going to share with you how to unlock your full potential so you can live a fulfilled life. And we're getting started right now. All right, so check it. One thing I hate hearing, or l let me rephrase that. One thing I prefer not to hear. I'm working on my on the on the words that I use because they're really powerful. The words that you use put you in a certain emotional state, mental and emotional state. By saying I hate something, or, I hate it. You know, that, if I say I prefer not to hear it, or I prefer something else, it puts me in a lot better emotional state than saying I hate. So, anyways, that's neither here or there. But one thing I prefer not to hear is someone to tell me to be realistic, play it safe, or don't risk it. Don't tell me those things. What can you possibly accomplish of anything worthwhile if you play it safe your whole entire life, you don't risk anything, and you think realistically? All right, so history, bu history, bukes, history books are full of people who, th who did not play it safe, who didn't think realistically at the time, and they risk a whole lot. All right, like, Steve Jobs, the the Wright brothers when they created the airplane, Henry Ford, uh, dude, it goes on and on and on. I'm not even going to get all into detail. You could just check it out for yourself. But you you can't accomplish anything great by thinking realistic. And and if you say you want to do something, says oh that's nonsense. So you know, be realistic. You know, play it safe. Like they're killing your dreams and stuff. You know, and eh, that, that's taken away from your potential. And I had to really get crystal clear about it because when I first started. Um, my entrepreneur, l legit entrepreneur career, I was in network marketing at the time, which I'm no longer doing. Great industry and, it, and I'm grateful for it because it led me to where I'm at now. But when I first started doing that, I had a grant to go to school and the school wasn't for me and it was something that didn't interest me, I was not passionate about and that would have been a horrible decision if I would have went through. All right? And I decided not to go. And my friend heard about it and he said, dude, don't be stupid, man. Take the free money. You know, I'm paying all this school debt now, man. I wish I could have had a grant like that. And I, I really sat there and thought about, well, do you really love what you're doing now? Are you happy? And of course, I mean, some people are, but he wasn't. And it doesn't matter if he was or not. It, 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 it wasn't for me. And I'm not going to be realistic and, and, and sell myself short because of something else like that's being average and nobody I can't stand the fact of being average all right average scares the shit out of me straight up it just it does average I cannot live an average life you know look up the word average normal like everyone else nothing nothing really cool you know what I'm saying it's, it's just average I don't want to be average I don't want to live an average life you know some people are cool with that but I'm not I'm not cool with an average life I want to live an extraordinary life I want to soak up everything that life has to offer I want to go for every single thing that my heart desires so I'm not gonna settle for anything I'm gonna go after it I could live with myself knowing that I gave it my all and shot for everything that I ever wanted in life and failed I could live with myself with that but I could not live with myself if I was sitting in a nursing home at the end of my days on my deathbed and filled with regret of what, what would my life be like if I would have actually pursued that dream how would things be differently now I couldn't live with myself with that I could live with myself if I gave it my all and went for it and failed, but I couldn't live with myself if I didn't try. So a great way to really get what you want is to ask yourself, you know, if I knew that I could not fail, what would I, sh what would I sh go for? If I knew that there was no chance of failure, what would I try to do? You know, find out what it is that you really want, that if you knew you couldn't fail no matter what, what would you go for? That's what you need to be aiming for in life. And then you take that 
and then you take what you just found by asking yourself that question and you multiply it by at least 10. You know, Grant Cardone talks about this in his book, The 10X Rule, it's where I got this from, but you take that and you multiply it by 10 because just an average goal doesn't give you enough motivation. It's, it doesn't really excite you. And when you accomplish it, yeah, you accomplish the goal, but you're still just average. But when you take these crazy big goals that you have, something that really excites you, that you knew if you accomplished would just feel incredible, you know, that, that gives you fire to play with. And we're gonna talk about, you know, cause that can also lead for people to feel overwhelmed and uh, not take action. And that's cool, because that's what the next step in this Goal Getter Cheat Sheet is about, which I will have the video on on my next video. And if you want to download the entire Goal Getter Cheat Sheet for free, you could do so right there. And that's besides the point, though. When you set that goal, though, it gives you incredible motivation and you have something that excites you. And if a goal, a goal should do two things. It should excite the crap out of you and it should also scare the crap out of you at the same time. It's gotta be something that, it just can't be something that you can easily do. There's gotta be a challenge for it because that's what's gonna get you to really go after it and give it your all. And my final tip, always, always raise your standards. And we talked about that in the last video and it's so true. Like as you get closer to achieving your goal, set more goals and raise your standards even higher this time. And the reason why that is, is because when you don't have something to strive for, you, you're not happy for one, and you're just not living a fulfilled life. And also, a lot of, a lot of men die just a few years after they retire. There was a study done about that, about three years after they retired. Not exact numbers, I'm not sure, so don't like blast me out in the comments and say, oh, that's not true. But I was reading a, a study about how men die shortly after they retire. And a good reason for that could be is that they've lived their whole life having something to strive for, that they have a, a sense of contribution, and then all of a sudden, boom, they don't have it anymore. They retire and they just go into relax mode and now they don't have nothing to shoot for and they die shortly after. What makes us feel alive and fulfilled and gives us energy is a goal, is a challenge. That is good for us, good kinds of stress. What is not good for us is to not have anything worthwhile to aim for, not have something to contribute to because then you feel like you have nothing to give and you're not growing. Life is about development. A tree, as soon as it's planted, it grows its entire life until it dies. Same with humans. We grow our entire lives. Even when we stop growing in height, our body produces thousands and thousands of cells every single day until we die. Same with grad, everything. So life is about development. Always raise your standards and shoot for more. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos like it, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that would benefit from this message, please share it with them. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time can do. And as always, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit it, hit the, hit the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything because we bring the fire right here and we are going to crush these goals and dominate life thank you for watching my winning friend i will see you next time